guys, listen. It, it's uh, it's a shame where this is going, but unfortunately, this needed to happen. So everything that's happening now, the breakdown of the country, the fucking constant bitterness, the division, all of this shit needed to happen. It was supposed to happen. This was written for us a long time ago. And though when I was a kid, I really didn't subscribe to it or believe it, but now I'm starting to believe it. And believe it or not, guys, here's the fucked up shit. And I hate to, I hate to admit to this, but the, the Israelites, right? Those are the guys that used to hang out on 42nd Street. They used to scream at white people, you white devil, and, you know, like, run around with the devil horns, and you fucking white people fucked us over. But they used to stop yelling at white people for, like, five minutes, and they used to talk about the mark of the beast and all sort of crazy shit that is happening now. That being said, these same guys who hated white men read a white guy's book called uh, Behold a Pale White Horse, or Behold a Pale Horse, right? They read this book, and they were saying that shit. And in that book, it said the same thing. Guys, it's just insane how the people we ignored who were standing on the street corner with their signs about the end is near or some crazy shit was going to happen, we ignored them. We ignored the Israelites who, listen, again, I don't subscribe to them. I don't. But for everything they said when I was a kid, it's coming true. Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, and And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Paleo Hebrew, the Holy Tongue. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, He is the Deliverer. Bahashim in the name uh, and Rakakadash Kadash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and, and, and uh, elders from Great Millstone, as you can see on the screen. You know, they're the, 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 the head apostles of all of Israel. You know, we want to give a double honors to them. Uh, uh, peace and blessings to the uh, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of Broadway. True sincerity and Shalom. Peace and blessings to uh, you, uh, Akim. Brothers and sisters, Akim Wa Athwats, uh, brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Uh, we two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. I'm the brother Taz of War. And as you just seen uh, a, a, a short little clip, hey man, this truth is 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 being made manifest. It's going out through the world, and you're starting to see prophecies being fulfilled. And and uh, people that once heard about us walked uh, uh, walked by the camps and and and. Heard heard uh, us prophesying whether they believed it or not at that time they're now starting to uh, 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 witness the uh, the truth uh, of the of the Lord uh, uh, speaking through the, the the servants the prophets things is coming to uh, pass you know we've been especially with these apostles here and elders here on, on the screen and they've been doing this for years uh, prophesying the downfall of America telling you that it's going to be all type of calamity Jacob's trouble the mark of the beast world uh, world war three all these things was uh, uh, prophecy and the Lord put that spirit in our mouths to speak, you know. That's how you know we, the true men of the Lord, have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. So people are starting to see these things come to pass, and they're starting to realize that these guys are right. And um, uh, uh, and these elders, through the spirit of the Lord, have uh, 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 woken up uh, 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 the hopeful elect. Through, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth That's why there's many camps That, that know that they're Israelites And they're prophesying the downfall of America And this is why uh, you, you This truth is, is uh, growing like a what is it like a snowball going downhill it's getting bigger you know and and it's nothing's going to stop this truth and people are starting to realize that hey we have the truth uh, through the spirit power Yahweh Shemel Shah uh, Isaiah 20, chapter 20 verse and though the Lord gave you the bread of adversity and the word of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed from a, into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. That's right. You know, so uh, everybody's going to see or hear this word through the, uh, uh, through the uh, apostles and through the prophets of the Lord. You know, you know, the Lord is, is, is making his word known. And and whether you are. Uh, Walking by a main camp or whether you going through uh, social media, this word is growing at a rapid rate. There's we're in the age of information. You know, you got 
uh, people talking about this truth, man. You know, and this is how we know if this gospel must come before the end shall uh, uh, come, as according to Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. This 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 word, these prophecies is speaking. The Lord is is, is word is going without vo is not going without void, man. So hey, the Lord declaring the end from the beginning, and people are starting to see it, and that's our job, man, to constantly push that vibration of this truth, man, and push prophecies and the downfall of America, man. Uh, this is on Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall they come. And that's exactly the time we're in right now. Uh, the Apostle Roman, I'd like to say, now the spirit is on hyperdrive. This gospel is being noise abroad. And that's exactly why you see all this thing happening. Because the Lord, Yahweh, is bound by his words. The Lord sent the prophets out there to make you people to let you people know what's about to come once the prophets say it it has to come to pass because that's how the lord's work man the lord's not gonna take uh 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 what's that uh, numbers 23 verse 19 he he, he doesn't when the lord says something he's, he's not gonna take it back man he has to accomplish and that's exactly what you see happening and the more and more you're gonna see this thing become evident you're that's not right. gonna have any option but to acknowledge a higher power we're telling you who's who's behind it yeah that's how right. about shimisha is the one they're gonna bring forth the smokes, man. That's you know? why we say we confidently say it's time to seek the Lord and take heed uh, to to this warning from from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Because if you don't, hey man, there's gonna be no cloak for your sins, man. The Lord has gave you the the, the set forth the apostles' lives to give you this this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and He's fulfilling it, man. He's fulfilling it through these signs and wonders, and this is how we can confidently say that this is going to happen, man. Uh, Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man. That he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent, uh, that he say said, and shall he not do it, or hath he spoken, and shall not, and, and shall he not make it good? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The Lord is bound by His word, man. The prophecies, so the prophecies are already written out. So, uh, uh the, the Lord sent the prophets out there to to say, it, uh, to give to, warning. Uh, to give warning, to make it plain, to publish it to your people. And once the word came out of the prophet's mouth, it has it has to come to pass. It has to be made manifest. And that's right. And that's exactly why you see, you people, like I said before, you people ain't gonna have any option but to acknowledge that those men that was out there on the highway, wake in, wake out, you know, do lessons. Hide the truth. Day in, day out. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna know that these were the men of the Lord, man. They shall know that the prophet, prophet had among them. them. That's right. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest toward the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require thy hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's our job, man. We're supposed to give warning to the house of Israel. The Lord said he was going to put his words in our mouth, and we're going to speak the words of prophecy to the house of Israel, man. And this is what the elders and apostles and the brothers on down been doing for centuries and centuries and now this all these prophecies and the spirit and the vibration uh that we speak is coming into fruition it's coming into uh, uh like the brother said hyperdrive people are starting to see it now they can't deny it they can't say it's a conspiracy theory or you guys are bugged out or you guys are living fantasies it's just it's it's, it's being made manifest and this is why we're giving warning to wipe the blood off our hands and those that do take heed to this word and get right and repent hey man that's a blessing but those that take heed and scoff and scorn if you can't see uh uh not being circumspect or knowing what time it is and you just want to continue to live your life willy-nilly and 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 in and, and comfortable state of mind and not uh, uh being desperate uh, measures to get right hey man your blood is going to be required for the hands lord uh, of the uh, hand of the lord and that's going to be death and destruction man you know we, we we hear prophesying uh the downfall of america earthquakes pestilence famines wars and rumors of wars civil unrest Martial, uh, martial law, FEMA camps, uh, the mark of the beast. This is what's coming. And again, we're confident because we know as the scriptures that the brother had me bring, bring out, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. His words go without void, man. So if he said it, he meant it. He declared the end from the beginning. And again, we are declaring the end because we can see it happening. You know? So Luke 21 verse 15, For I will give you mouth and wisdom, hmm. which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain say nor resist. Yeah, read that again, bro. Uh, Luke 21, verse 15. Huh. 
For I will give you mouth and wisdom, mm. which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And that goes perfect with this video, man. The guy said when he was young, he used to walk by and hear these words and say, oh, these guys will only scream the white man is the devil. But they also used to prophesy the downfall. And the fact that he ain't resisted now, he's pretty much con confessing or, or admitting that the men on the streets, or I think he said, what, 42nd Street, mm -hmm. which is the apostles, they, 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 they were right. They were telling the truth, man. You know, and this truth, the Lord has given us a mouth and wisdom that nobody can naysay nor resist nor debate, you know, because this is the truth. And this this is only given through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh uh, Shai. A, a, a man in the world is not going to understand the things that's given from the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's why they can't resist. And that's why when they go at camp or when they walk by the prophets and they try to debate, hey, they at the end, they leave uh, stunned, floored or or. or uh, Speechless. Speechless, the fact that we know so much, man. And it's all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because the Lord has a spirit that no one can contend against him, man. You know? Like this, like like the saying goes, man, your arms are too short to box with the God. most high, man. So hey man, this is why we confidently say, man, this is what's gonna happen. The Lord said he was gonna bring the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And hey, we're seeing it being played out day by day. Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man. And according to the scriptures, he's the devil, the wicked. He's going to come down with great wrath. This is what we're telling you Israelites, man, to get right and repent before these evil days draw nigh, man. Jacob's trouble's coming, man. You know? uh, Ezekiel 33, verse uh, 32. Yep. And lo, the art unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on an instruments. Mm -hmm. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Mm -hmm. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that the prophet had been among them. That's right. And that's that's perfect, man. You know, you're gonna know, you're gonna acknowledge, you're gonna know that day those men that's out there telling these things, they were the prophets, man. Because you are you're gonna have nobody else to 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 no other way to no other people to go to turn to to find out what's going on. Yeah, for advice or what's advice, yeah, you know. The, the Lord have like the scripture says and uh Amos, man, the Lord will do nothing but well, he, he surely will do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets. So this is why the men of the Lord are gonna be stable when all hell break loose. That wisdom and knowledge is gonna keep them in calm and 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 and, 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 and circumspect, man. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, I was I was thinking of something else, man. Um but yeah, they're gonna know there's a prophet been among you when all hell break loose. Real quick, get the the one uh, Zechariah. I think it's what Nine. eight and twenty three maybe. Mm. And this is why when all hell break loose, you know, uh, a lot of people are gonna want to uh, uh, be near the prophets, man. Mm. Yeah, come on, you're right, you're right. What is it, uh, Zephaniah or Zechariah? Oh, Zechariah. Mm -hmm. uh, eight and twenty three, right? Mm -hmm. Come. Oh, uh, Zechariah eight verse twenty three. Thus said the Lord of hosts. In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall grab shall take hold of all the language of the nation. That's right. Even shall take hold of the skirt of him that's that's that is a Jew, yep. saying, We will go with you. For we have heard that the Messiah is with you. And that's what when all hell break loose and when people are starting to see more of these prophecies being fulfilled and uh, 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 events from uh, biblical uh, proportion. proportion, and people are starting to come around to all you camps and, and trying to watch, uh, even uh, commenting on your Instagrams. I mean, not Instagram, it's like on your YouTube, asking, hey, w w what's the what's the plan? Can you help us? Give me some advice. Because they're going to realize that a prophet has been among you, man. And they're going to try to... Uh, uh, Feed off your energy. They're gonna they're gonna come for you for advice, and this is what's happening, man. You know the prophets are going to be uh, the celebrities in the world, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be infamous as well because there's mm -hmm. gonna be also uh, persecution and lies spoken about us. But those that have the spirit of the Lord that's trying to seek salvation are gonna be the ones gravitating towards you, mm -hmm. and then there's gonna be those that want you dead. You know that's through the Satan and Esau, Edom. Uh, 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 Speaking evil among you, man. Oh, I got one more question. Yeah. So, uh, Zephaniah 3 verse 19. Zephaniah 3 verse 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, mm -hmm. and I will save thee, her from halt, that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame mm -hmm. in every land where they have been put to shame. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is, because like uh, at one time, the Hebrew Israelites was the boogeyman. That's Nobody right. wants to be... Uh, Associate with the Hebrew Israelites, especially when the uh, rib doctrine came out, you know, yeah, he yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. distance himself from from us, right? So the Lord, it's perfect, man. There was a time that uh, the Lord uh, 
make it happen so so that we, so that these people so that he can save out the one that he don't want. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So right now yeah. we are at a time where the Lord's gonna the same men that was despised, Bring rejected. Back the pure hearts back. You know what mm. I'm saying? They're gonna be famous. They're gonna be famous. You're gonna people are gonna seek out for them. You're gonna seek out for the wisdom when all have close because you ain't gonna have no other or no other options, man. Come on, read verse 20. And the reason why these people are gonna start to seek out the prophets of the Lord because they're gonna also be wanting to be survive to survive mm -hmm. uh, the impending in danger that's coming. Okay. Uh, Zephaniah 3 verse 20 yep. Matter of fact, start from 19 again Just read on down All right, come on. Zephaniah 3 verse 19 And it reads uh, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee And I'll save her that halteth And gather her that I was driven out And I'll get them praise and fame In every land where they had been to shame That's right At that time will I bring you again Even in the time that I gather you For I will make you a name in a Praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, serve the Lord. That's right. And this is what's happening. He's going to gather out the elect and bring them and to save them and, uh, from that captivity. And we're here, man. America got to be destroyed uh, for the elect. And for Yahweh Shai to come and deliver the elect, man. And this is what was happening. These signs and wonders, these prophecies are speaking. And hey, a lot of people are going to wake up, man. It also says in the scripture, in the 11th hour, uh, people shall uh, uh, join, you know, or wake up, man. And this is what this is this is how we know we at the last days, man. And this is why we confidently we stand in great boldness because we have the spirit of Yahweh Shai dwelling in us. And what we speak is not of our own vain thoughts and of uh, opinions, man. It's all through the spirit. Spirit of the Lord, and that's why all glory and praises go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Man, so with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. Uh, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Akakadash. Our double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth, man. And uh, peace and salutations to Akim again to the Bayav Dawuda, that's the house of David the elect. Until next time, we want to say Adawan Ratazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.